The San Pedro Market opened in 1925. It is the staple market for all of your souvenirs, food, and everything for the local people here in Cusco. We're gonna go there, explore, check it out, see if we can, I don't know, taste some exotic foods and fruits and things and walk around and show you guys what to expect. So, let's get it. All right, so it's about a uh, 15 minute walk from the city center, so a lot of places you're gonna be able to walk around here, but in reality, it's not a big deal, man. It's so beautiful. I was looking for an Italian restaurant. I need to come here later. All right. All right, so one of the things that I do wanna mention for whatever reason a lot of the atms here they always 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 have like long lines at them so if you're able to get cash when you're in lima and then come here to make it a lot easier and quicker for you but majority of the places here do take cash i mean i'm sorry i do take your card so nothing really to worry about but i don't know if you can hear it in my voice getting used to this altitude has been absolutely insane Yesterday, I just could not do anything. I'd probably drink about six cups of cocoa tea, which is supposed to help. Then I went out and had one beer. I was like, I just can't. So went in and laid down. Woke up this morning with a headache. Took some leave and I drank three more cups of cocoa tea. Feeling a lot better. But now, it's just so freaking tiring. <laughs> the shortness of breath is crazy. But we're gonna trek, guys, but man. I'm gonna try to keep the camera forward as much as possible to show you guys the city. I haven't really seen. <sighs> Ooh. Ah, oh, man. Sorry, I just catch my breath. Guys, I haven't really seen too many videos that's really just showing the rawness and authenticity of Cusco. It's always extremely edited and things like that. So I'm gonna try to just walk around and show you guys what to expect when you're here. So, how cheap is Peru? Specifically Lima and Cusco. If you're coming from the West, it's definitely a lot cheaper. But if you're comparing it to, say, like Colombia or something, then no. Colombia still wins by far. But you can have a full course meal, um, full course meal, drinks, and everything for probably about 20, 25 bucks, easy. When I say full course, I'm talking about like Americanized. But if you stick to like local restaurants and Peruvian cuisines, then you can obviously eat a lot cheaper. My first first day in, uh, when I got here, I went to a restaurant and I paid about 15 sol for a bottle of water and a full breakfast. But uh, when I, oh man, guys, I know you guys can hear it in my voice. Holy sh! You're probably going to want to take it easy the first uh, day or two while you're here. A ritmo del mundo. It feels so good in the day, and that's my next tip for you guys. During the daytime, it feels absolutely amazing. But as soon as the sunset is done, you're gonna absolutely need pants and a jacket. to go inside that look like a cathedral now we'll go check that out uh, the market is this way let's just keep straight this way massage right. 
technically this is my first day out because yesterday i only stayed within a three to five minute uh radius of uh my room because i was just too tired and i was dizzy but i'm feeling a lot better today so we're exploring all this right now together these old buildings look so beautiful make sure you gotta watch out for these stoplights they're integrated in these poles right here, and it's kind of hard to see them sometimes, but... Just make sure you're on the lookout for those. You got drugstores here. You gotta start feeling queasy. A lot of these shops, I really don't know how they're even still open when you have so many vendors selling stuff like this on the corner for a <laughs> fraction of the price. Whew. Whew. Oh my gosh. All right, so the strangest thing that I've tasted since I've been here, thus far has been the octopus. I had it in Lima and then I had it again yesterday. Both times it was, uh, the one in Lima it was a, it was extremely like greasy and it didn't really have a lot of flavor. And then when I tasted it yesterday, it really reminded me of like black olives. I had it inside of a pasta and it was like, yeah, I just concluded octopus just aren't for me. Maybe I'll try it again, I get to Southeast Asia, but <laughs> the Peruvian version of it just isn't for me. All right, let's see where we at. Oh, here we go right here. I stumbled upon it. Bienvenidos al Mercado San Pedro. Ca Cusco. I wonder later on in the week if we can go up in the hills up there and look down on the city. I bet that's a hell of a view. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check this out. So if you guys are watching and you want to know where to come get extra clothing if you came to Cusco you don't have like a jacket or pants by far this is going to be the best place to find it at least for uh, the cheapest price let them go by the smells are crazy some places you walk by and it's like very sweet and then the next time it smells like something just died. This market really looks unending. Holy crap. You got kids playing, fruits, veggies. I want something weird. Let's try like... Um, actually, there's a, a dish here that is i forgot the name of it i'll put it in the uh, description but it's a cow's heart and supposedly it's really good and tender if it's cooked right and so that's kind of what i want to look for right now uh let's go this way i love machu picchu I need a shot glass is what I need. I need a shot glass and a magnet. Where's the prices at? I need a shot glass and a magnet. A lot of people, they like to get like the patches and put it on the backpacks and stuff. Me, I'm a shot glass and magnet person. But probably the most important is the shot glass, so. Let's see if we can find any. Hola. Hola. Uh, uh, those shot glasses are 27. Oh, wait. Hola. Hola. ¿Cuánto es? ¿Es fast? ¿So? ¿Sí? Okay. Um, Uh, 
Let's see, Peru. Cusco, Peru. Ah, you have more. It's three. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to stumble against them. Okay, okay. Mm. Let's go. I like this one. That's kind of a good fit. This is the Condor, the Puma, and the Serpiente at the side of Machu Picchu. Oh, the Machu Picchu. Okay. Uh, let me see. Is this worth it? Okay. Okay, I want this one. And then I want a, uh, like a, a shot glass like this. Do you have... Uh, cheaper, maybe this one. Uh, quince. Uh, sí. Do you have a, a smaller one, like a? Sí, cuánto? Ah, doce. Ah, perfecto. Okay. Is dos for dos? Exacto. Okay, sí. Bien, bien. I'll take these two. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Well, guys, I hope you got a good feel for the market. There was one place. Um, they had like a whole cow head out on the table. I didn't really want to record that because uh, I didn't want to get demonetized for that. But if you guys are interested in seeing that clip, it will be uh, on the Instagram below. All right. Now that temple or that cathedral that we just walked past about two minutes ago, kind of want to go back over there and see if we can go in and explore that. Alright guys, so kind of walking up to this building right here. It looks like it's a church or something, but I gotta take a quick break. All I'm doing is walking and my heart is beating fast. If it wasn't so cool, I'd be sweating. Goodness gracious, this altitude ain't no joke, but this is still a hell of a view. Hell of an experience for sure, man. You guys definitely gotta stop by Cusco at least once. Oh. Alright, what is this? Being the needles. And this. Museum. Caracomas del Convento San Francisco de Asís del Cusco. So it's a museum. Ooh, I probably got up too fast. Oh my gosh. over here oh that looks nice now that's something you don't see every day right here in the main square a little waterfall right here feel like they keep up with it too as well all right guys so that museum was kind of closed so we're gonna make our way to one of the oldest buildings in all of Cusco. It was opened in 1625. I'll tell you more about it on the way. Universidad Nacional Diego Quispe Tito. I'm glad I kept my jacket on. The sun is starting to go down, it's starting to get a lot cooler. All right, let's see. I'm thinking it's this way. Almost there, guys. Making our way up to Cusa, Kenya. Ugh. So when you get here, it's kind of easy to really just get caught up in like the main square or just come in here, stand for a night, then head at the Machu Picchu or the Inca Trail. And I feel like Cusco has a lot to offer. Now, once you finally get over the... Uh, oh my gosh, obviously I'm still not over it. Once you get over the altitude sickness and 
you're able to start catching your breath and move around with a little bit of normalcy. It's actually amazing. But I think this is, uh, this could be it right here. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Any type of hill or anything, I am out of breath. Let's see, is this the entrance right here? Yeah, I think this is it. I hope they take cards. I just spent all of my um, souls at the market. <laughs> and well, I gotta get some cash. Oh man, I do. Probably get a picture. Hola. Uh, see you when I come back for sure. Yeah, Gracias. <laughs> huh? Uh, maybe when I come back. When I come back. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, good. Good Not sure. Oh. oh man, there's a lot of people out here. Buenos Aires. No, that's okay. Gracias. Alright guys, change of plans. As I've stated earlier before, a lot of the ATMs, they're always a long queue. And I've just walked to two different ones. And the first one was out of cash. It was three ATMs in there, it was out of cash. And then the second one, probably had about 60 people waiting. So we're not gonna be able to explore Kusikenya, but I do recommend visiting when you get there. All right, so we're just gonna keep walking around the city. I'm gonna continue giving you guys a tour and see if I can save this vlog. <laughs> Boulevard Coloyar. All right, so what is everyone's impression of Cusco so far? Let me know, let me know down in the comments and uh, let's talk about it. Would I recommend coming to Cusco? Absolutely. I've probably met about four to five of the backpackers and they're literally only here for one night and then they're heading up to Machu Picchu and then they're coming back and then going back to the Limo, another city. And I'm like, por que we? This city really has a lot to offer, especially if you're a fan of like the old architecture and just cities that offer just like this authentic feel and vibe. I have no idea where I am right now, but we're just going to keep going, but I'm not going to run that light though. These streets is every man for themselves. <laughs> All right, so I know I kind of cut the video off earlier a little bit abruptly but um i came in and i just wanted to kick back and relax man this altitude has really been kicking my ass and i just felt extremely sleepy but by the time i got to the room i was chilling so came here we have a uh, beer pong tournament here in a little bit so i decided to go ahead and get warmed up and then secondly um get some food in me so hello All right, so I'm a little bit sad to say that this is my last night in Peru. This was kind of a rushed last minute trip. And, and I put it together, but I didn't really game plan for it. Um, and, and it's kind of tell. I'm only gonna come away with two, maybe three videos max. So I'm kind of disappointed in that. Um, I messed up the entire Machu Picchu visit um, because obviously, as I said, it was last minute, so I didn't properly plan. Um, but from what I've seen and what I've experienced, I 1 million percent uh, recommend coming to both Lima and Cusco. Um, thinking about probably trying to come back before the end of the year just to do Machu Picchu, just so I can experience that. Um, but we'll see. But um, so I'm gonna chill here for a bit. The Let's see what time it is, 8.35, so the beer pong tournament starts in an uh, hour and a half, so I'll be ready for it. But uh, anyways, guys, let me...
show you guys around a little bit. So yesterday they had like a projection now where they had um, um, karaoke, but I was so freaking tired I couldn't do anything. Oh, that's amazing. They have a happy hour from 10 to 11. Holy crap. Wait. Ah, oh, damn, it's not happy hour right now. Shit. <laughs> Alright, not bad. Well, and always in a trip with a good beer. Mm. I'm excited. Anyways, for everyone that's watching right now, thank you for watching the vlog. Reggie Glass, salute. I'm signing off for right now until the beer pong tournament starts in an hour and a half. So, till then, I'll see you in a minute. Salute.